Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop. It's Mike Peace with another uh, turning tip of the week for you where I'm not actually going to turn anything, but I'm going to respond in this uh, short video to some of the comments that I got from some of the viewers. I have one question from uh, Goober Watt. He said he'd been turning for only six months or so and, um, and he wanted to know if I had any suggestions or a website or a place to find good wood blanks, preferably four inches by four inches or so. Everywhere I look online seems to be outrageously overpriced anywhere reasonably priced. Well, there's several reasons why blanks that, saw, uh, saw that large in dry wood are expensive. Uh, number one, there's not a lot of demand for it. Very few people want dry wood in that size. It's not, it's not a commercial uh, uh, size. People that make houses, people that uh, uh, tinker normally don't want dry wood that big. Dry wood that big is, expense, is expensive to, to kill dry because they're it takes longer and there's a higher chance of, of loss or or cracking. So my suggestion is forget trying to find it four by four and you've got a couple of a uh, couple of approaches that I would suggest. Number one, when you're cutting some of your wood uh, green, if you want some that size, go ahead and cut some four by four squares, seal the ends, put them up, and eventually they'll get dry. They won't they won't get uh, they're not likely to completely air dry, but after a year or so, they'll probably be dry enough and stable enough for most any wood turning project. Uh, the other technique I, I suggest, and this is one fits most anything, I'm not sure what you would be turning that size. It needs to be dry. I would suggest you using green wood. If it's a bowl, turn it once, and let it warp. When it dries, then in a, in a few weeks or a few months, return it and make it true. The other possibility is to turn it thin and turn it green and let it warp and go oval. A lot of people like that organic uh, look. Uh, there's, I can't think of too many things that I, I turn of a 4x4 four by four, four by four size that I would need uh, green, I'm sorry, that I would need dry wood. Boxes that size are very difficult, whether it's dry or green wood, to have a stable uh, top on the thing and, and to fit. So I don't make boxes that, that large. The other thing I would suggest is, is when you're cutting those blanks, cut some smaller blanks, 2x2 two two up to 3x3 three three or 50 millimeter to 75 millimeter, and set those aside because that fits an awful lot of the kind of things you would turn that you might want uh, drier wood, whether it's uh, ornaments or coffee scoops or uh, uh, small boxes, any number of things. And when I turn boxes, I generally rough them out and, and set the wood aside uh, for uh, a period of months and I have a supply of them. It doesn't take long. Turn some green things while you're waiting for some of those blanks to dry and, and you'll be alright. Alright, let's talk about Facebook a little bit. I'm not a Facebook guru so take this with a grain of salt but um, from time to time I get requests from some of y'all out there to become my Facebook friend and, and let me explain something. I have a wood turning uh, page that you don't have to become a friend to to look at it, uh, like it, you like it, you'll get notifications when I make changes. And I keep that for wood turning. Sometimes I, uh, I put little tips or I might put a, a link to a video or something out there. My personal Facebook page is primarily for very close friends and, and family. And most of the posts out there I don't make, I don't make public. So don't feel like you're being ignored. It's just that my personal Facebook uh, page is, is primarily for, for family. Now, there are some Facebook wood turning pages out there I want to mention to you. One of them is called Woodchuckers, and one of them is called Wood Turners Around the Globe. So you can go into Facebook and, and uh, do a search on both of those. You have to request to join because they're closed groups. Uh, but if you're a wood turner, you know, tell a little bit about yourself, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have you. And that's probably a better forum to get involved in discussions and, and so on about wood turning than my personal Facebook page. Now, my club, the Chattahoochee Wood Turners, also has. Uh, two Facebook pages. We have one that's primarily for uh, just information for potential visitors and it's kind of static and it mostly is where we meet and, and, and when. The other one is a closed group where you have to, to join, uh, request to join. Again, it's a closed group because it's primarily just for members of, of our club with information that's only relevant to members about events and, and meetings. So if you request to join that group, yeah, you're probably not going to get ex accepted. Uh, so that's how that works. Help me understand your needs a little bit better so uh, I can take that in mind in future videos by answering this little little poll if you click on the uh, icon here about whether or not you belong to a wood turning club. Here's wishing you a most happy uh, 2018. 
Y'all stay safe and come on back here.